Live from the Frederick P. Rose Hall, home of jazz at Lincoln Center in New York, New York, it's The Q at IBM Z Next, redefining digital business. Brought to you by headline sponsor, IBM. City. This is the Cube. I'm John Furrier. We are live on the ground with our Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, my co-host Dave Vellante. We're at the IBM Z Systems launch. Our next guest is Seth Reichelson uh, from Lake Brantley High School in Florida, uh, original from, originally from Long Island, here at the event, being a big part of the announcement. Welcome to the Cube. Thank you. Seth, um, so first of all, I want to thank you for coming on theCUBE. And one, just want to say to the folks out there watching, Seth is probably one of the most amazing individuals out there right now. He is really promoting AP computer science. He's driving it as a lifestyle class of just awesomeness. So um, we're going to get into talk about that, but um, the academic outreach is part of the IBM. That's why you're here. IBM Ac Academia is connecting. Um, but computer science is exploding in, in, in recognition um, everyone's seen Facebook, the social network, and, wa and wants to move to Palo Alto or become a billionaire, or for the love of science, where now computer science isn't the, the nerdy, geeky thing that was once categorized. What's your take on all this? Um, everything today is on the computer. Everybody's on their phones all the time. Um, when kids get in trouble, their parents punish them by taking away their computers. So I don't really see where this nerd and geek thing is. It's clearly the most exciting class in high school. Um, this is this is the future, it's the computers. You're talking about the networking. AP computer science class. AP computer science is a rigorous computer science class. So we learn the real stuff. We don't mess around. So what are you, <laughs> what are you teaching? We're teaching Java and object-oriented programming. So, so what, what kind of student is even qualified to take an AP class? What do I have to have as a foundation? Um, well, you have to be able to divide by three and get the remainder. That's the only math skills you need. So it's, it's a no prerequisite class. Um, really? So you're, I you, teach you're, it to every you draw student. from I kids teach who it. love history, sociology, psychology, They may economics. have loved that, then they love computer science after I'm done with them. So they don't need to be um, there, there expert is, at computer science? No, or, no, uh, no, there's no prerequisite for So we were talking So that's how they go in, how do they come out? Oh, they come out, I mean, just... Guns blaring. Oh yeah, yeah. So I mean, wait, they're, they're, so they're, give they're, an example. Be specific, they're proficient in... In Java, object-oriented programming. The AP subset is pretty large. So they come out experts in Java. And this is a, a one year. Sort it's of well, or? it's one year, but then we have um, we have other classes after the AP. We, we're in the pilot stage of a second AP class. Which really? Has How big, old are the kids generally that, that are? I'll take them, class? fifteen to eighteen, I guess. So ninth graders are 15, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, they stay the same age. It's I get older, they stay the same. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be like almost. So, so what's the dynamic right now? Obviously, there's a lot of online traction. Let's stand for computer science 101 class had literally 70,000 graduates of it. So, there's a lot of online YouTube, Khan Academy, certainly for elementary school. Are you seeing augmentation on the curriculum as a teacher, as you get these guys hooked on the the heroin of the magic well, of computer science? Code.org did a good job of, of bringing people into computer science, but as far as like the MOOCs, um, the the completion rate is around one percent. So. You got to have a teacher to yeah. teach them. But augmentation, though, I mean, I can see a student getting kind of, hey, I want more. Do you see them going off the, uh, and, and getting additional help online? Not as a primary, I mean. Oh, there, there's so many free resources, it's ridiculous in computer science. If you're paying for something, you're doing it wrong. Um, because there's a great demand for computer science, the Bureau of Labor Statistics said 30% of the jobs are going to be in computer science. So there's so many resources from the National Science Foundation. Um, so I'm smiling because I was a computer science graduate in the 80s, back in the, you know, the, the Berkeley days, the Unix was Berkeley. trademarked by AT&T, and BSD, BSD yeah. came out, and that was the beginning of the systems revolution. That was essentially the beginning of client server, in my opinion, but I'm a self-identified geek. I call myself a geek and live in Silicon Valley, Palo Alto. Geek is a good term, I mean, it's no. called, hey, I'm an alpha geek Seth or geek. doesn't agree so with that. So we were no, debating no. last <laughs> night at dinner. Um, yeah, I won. You, <laughs> you, you think you won. Oh, it's not done, we're not done yet. It's good, Long Island say you think you won. Okay, that's good. Okay. No, but seriously, I mean, I like your points valid, right? We use those terms because you used to be geek, now it's, people are proud to be geeking out. Um, so why, isn't that, why is well, that term a negative? I mean, it, it's fine if you want to keep the diversity we have going in computer science, but I get every student, and my students don't identify as being a geek or a nerd. 
um, I don't even bring it up because that just reinforces the, the negative stereotype. So my students are like band members. They're on the football team, the basketball team, cheerleading team. Um, they're programmers. They're everywhere. These are students who don't identify with that. So if you define yourself as a geek, you're really yeah. limiting your diversity. All right, so we're old school geeks, but let's go uh, down. No, no, so no. you're saying geek has a negative stigma yes, attached it does. to it. He's saying it reinforces. Okay. It reinforces okay. the stereotype. Okay, so you're, you're competing for talent, right, with, with other teachers. Yes. Is that fair? So uh, do other well, teachers take that same, same attitude? If I'm a math, if I'm an AP math, well, you know, do, do I say the same thing? Hey, I want kids well, from they, all they, walks of They life. can, but, but I can't I mean, take a kid, you know, a freshman and say, okay, let's go to, you know, Calc 3. And, and lay it yeah, on you because they're not going to be able to keep up. But you math say, is a set thing, so yeah, yeah. right. You're you, building. You, you uh, build it. My my legitimacy is based on, you know, my cult of personality and the excitement that computer science but brings. But you're saying you can throw kids right into the Java fire and they can be productive. And why is that? And is, no, they're, is not, he's, they're not. He's not throwing them. They're coming in. He's attracting. Yeah, yeah. But I'm they're coming attracting in. They're saying, and okay, they, they're you, no prereqs. No prerequisites. No prereqs. That's, that's what I mean. Throw them. Into so the Java fire. isn't the perfect starting language, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it's it's the AP test. So there's realities. Right. If you teach the AP test, you have to teach the language of the AP test, and which is Java. So what I, you know, perfect world. What I like to start in Python, probably. But I, I don't live in that world. So you could start and then you just scaffold it and success. So let's get back to this reinforcement because I, I do think you're right on that. And I, I mean, I like the work term geek, maybe because I'm a little older and that's what it is. But I think you're right. I mean, it's if, popular in no, Silicon but, Valley. But, but I, I no, it. the Apple iPhone is eight years old now. They just celebrated their birthday this past week. And um, since the iPhone, that's been a watershed moment for the young generation. Certainly YouTube, I mean, this has been around for almost about 15 years, less than 15 years, all this great consumer tech. We got to realize, I teach 15 year olds. Yeah, so, so those they, guys, they, their life has been this. Yeah, so this is what I, this is why we love doing the cube because we, there's an audience for tech. There are tech fans out there across all lifestyles. It's not just the industry people. Dave, we're seeing this with our traffic numbers. I mean, we have like 7,700 people right now watching, you know, but this is the mobile device sets the tone for curiosity. So is that, do you agree? And what are the, some of the other drivers? How do we make sense of it? I mean, we want more football players. We want the cheerleaders. We want the band members. We want everybody, right? So what's, what's your analysis of why it's happening? Uh, it's really an easy sell. I mean, look at the exciting technology we have. That's all they use is that. So I really don't have a problem selling my class. So I have around 220 AP computer science students in my school. That was up from zero before I got there. So we're not a magnet school. Um, there's no reason why it should be this way. It's just, I just get excited and there's yeah. so many resources. I mean, IBM's contest is great for us. Um, we have access to a mainframe, which is... Uh, okay, so there must be some secret handshake, social network of teachers. How do you get more Seths out there? Seth, so what's the, what are you finding <laughs> yourself in on your side of the camp? What's happening with you and your peers? Well, and I, how I had to change. That? I had to change what I was doing. So before, I would have a class of 20 with maybe a girl. You know, and then I was like, okay, I have to change everything that I'm doing. I'm going to focus instead of just the traditional problems. I'm going to focus on pixels, so I could do um, media computation. How I sell the class is different. I sell the class on not just we're going to code something. We're going to code something that's going to change the world. So I changed how I how I teach it, and then I got the reaction I got, and I just built from there. Then I have word of mouth, and then every year. So this year I'm teaching. While my percentage of girls is not that high, I'm around 30 percent, but that's still 64 girls. Yeah. Because good Still, teaching also increases the From one the girl guys. to thirty percent. I mean, that's one girl to sixty-four girls. Yeah. See, we, we, the the kind of teaching I'm doing attracts also extra guys too. So, so they're lining increases. up to take yeah. this class. They're so lining up, and there's a wait list. So I'm at thirty-eight a class. In Palo Alto High School, they just for the first time in their history shut uh, made cuts to the robotics club, which they've never done in the history of the robotics club. You're Palo Alto. So I'm this, Orlando. This so. uh, in Orlando. I know. I know. This is the whole point. How do other schools replicate what so you're doing? So there, there's organizations that train teachers how to teach it differently. Um, NCWIT, NCWIT, they give workshops on how to train. So you have to change. If you do the same thing over and over again and expect different results, that's just crazy talk. Yeah. So you got to change how you're teaching. You got to change how how you're re actually referring to yourself. I mean, I think you guys. We call cool. tech athletes. We you, say you, tech you athletes. You two guys are pretty cool as far as I'm concerned. I mean, yeah, you're on the cool. cube and, <laughs> and you're calling yourself an alpha geek, which I don't know makes it a. No, I am not an alpha geek. No, no, I don't even know, know what that means. No, no alpha geek is Zuckerberg's an alpha geek, right? I mean, no, I think Zuckerberg's. I mean, the guy has a movie. <laughs> yeah, <pretty cool. laughs> He's you know? a celebrity. So, no, but this is lifestyle. Now. See, but to it, us, it it's is. a term of endearment. It's not, though. You, I, it, I, no, fair enough. I understand what. what I, I understand your point of view, right? Because 
you're saying you're, you, it, have to, that, you have our, to change our your mindset. Our knowledge narrows the field, it, it and is. what you're doing is expanding the field, yeah. and we're all for that because there aren't enough computer science people yeah. in, the, in the world. Yeah, and, and, and he's right; it's really the most exciting it's, time it's, right now in oh, gosh, your yeah. history your of the world. Your positioning and marketing is brilliant. I mean, it's really it's awesome. And, uh, I'm marketing. Yo, no, I just teach him. No, no, you're that's not. No, you're. you're I, I know. You're, you're marketing yeah. to the yeah. students because, like I said, you're in competition with others, right? I mean, um, other AP classes. Yeah, there are, are other AP classes, but mm. I want my yeah, kids yeah, to yeah. take math oh, and, and if science. If your kids were in my school, they would they would take my class. Yeah, I but it comes down it. to the teacher. It comes down to making exciting. If kids feel like they're and eating the resources their vegetables. Are there. I want to come take your class. Oh, I'll teach you. Start over. I'll, I'll teach everyone. Well, computer science was, was... All right, hello world. I'm going to try to do that. Oh, no, 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 no. No, that's hazing. <laughs> that's like hazing. No, we don't start with hello. That's like the worst thing you can start. I just say in Java, oh my God. So how technical can we get here? The system out print line, hello world, is one of the worst commands you can do. Print that, so, baby. So I do not start with hello world. I'm just joking. That's, oh my gosh. Okay. No, you got to get him hooked. You got to mix. To me, it's about fun. Making it yes. fun and making it exciting. All right, Seth, thanks for coming on theCUBE. We really appreciate it. Really <laughs> proud of your work. Really proud that you thanks. came on theCUBE. And again, we want to promote it. Um, congratulations. Great uh, activity in the high school level. Again, the kids are hooked on the, on the technology. Proves our thesis that the technology and the computer science is going mainstream. This is theCUBE, and we'll keep on bringing it to you right at this short break with our next guest. We'll be right back. <laughs>